everyone, and welcome to this Lightarama tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about transferring an RGB plus sequence to your own custom layout, or preview, using S6. Before transferring your sequence, you must have your own preview created. If you have any Lightarama CPC prop packages, it's recommended that you use the Lightarama Props online menu to add the entire prop package to your preview rather than drawing your own custom versions. If you have not yet built your preview, please visit the Lightarama website and the video tutorial page to learn about the basics of preview building before continuing with this process. After completing this one-time setup process, it will allow you to transfer RGB plus sequences to your own layout in the future with ease. Open any one of your props to follow along with the basics of this video. This prop definition window has the same layout for all props. On the left, you'll see if the prop is designated as a traditional strand of lights or as smart or dumb RGB. The center defines how many strings and lights are used on the prop, and the right-hand side gives you information about where the prop is plugged in. This drop-down indicates whether your prop is on an LOR or DMX network, and right below allows you to set the unit ID or DMX universe for your prop. When you're transferring an RGB plus sequence to your preview, this network column is very important. By default, the RGB plus sequences have the props split onto four different networks due to the large number of props included. You can check how many channels are on each of your networks in the Statistics tab of the S6 Preview Editor. A new feature of S6 is the ability to tag your props to match the RGB plus sequence props. Every included prop in the RGB plus layout is preset with one of the tags in this list. Smart RGB props begin with the letters RGB, and groups of props begin with LOR group as the prefix. Tagging props in your preview makes it easy to transfer sequences without manual copy and paste. If you import one of the CPC packages directly by going to the Add menu, then Lightarama Props Online, all of the tags will automatically be placed on those props and groups. If you have a custom prop in your layout that's not in the RGB Plus sequences, you might be able to tag it with one of the RGB Plus tags. The sequencing effects from that element in the RGB Plus layout will transfer to this prop in yours. Even if a prop has a different number of pixels or is a different shape, all you need to do is set the tag. Just keep in mind that certain props won't translate well to others. For example, you may not want to take sequencing effects for a multi-strand pixel tree and try to apply it to a roof line, which only has one strand of pixels. The other place you need to add tags is in your preview groups. It is very important that you tag individual props and groups, since sequencing effects in the RGB plus sequences are placed at both levels. You can find the default group arrangements for the RGB plus groups of elements in the description of this video and on the Lightarama website. Setting tags for groups should be done for all groups of elements in your preview, but it's extra important for the pixel trees, matrix, and pixel stakes. For all three pixel trees, sequencing effects in the RGB plus sequences exist for the tree, the tree topper, and a group of both together. Make sure to create a group of your pixel tree and topper then associate it with the respective Lightarama RGB plus pixel tree group. If you do not have a topper, create a group with only your pixel tree in it so that you don't miss out on the full group effects. You can add in a topper at a later time or choose not to have a topper at all. All matrix effects are done at the matrix group level in case you need to apply the RGB plus matrix effects to a larger array of matrix pops in your own display. The correct settings will all import by default with the CPC package from the Lightarama Props Online menu. You can edit the dimensions of the matrix after import if you've built a singular, larger custom matrix by using the Prop Definition window. If you've made a custom matrix prop on your own, be sure to still add it to a group, even if it's the only element, and tag it as the RGB Plus matrix group so that you don't miss out on any RGB Plus sequencing effects. If you've created your own custom pixel stake props or have more than 40 stakes in your preview, you'll need to tag each individual row of pixel stakes with the appropriate LOR group row, as well as the group for all of your pixel stakes. There is no pixel stake sequencing done at the pixel stake prop level in RGB plus sequences so that you can more easily add stakes and expand your rows in the future. The group effects will readjust after you include the new stakes in the groups. You can also duplicate tags if you have more elements than the RGB Plus preview. 
For example, if you have six snowflakes instead of four, just start over with tagging when you reach your snowflake five. Associate it with snowflake one by selecting the tag from the dropdown, then associate snowflake six with snowflake two. After adding in the duplicate tags, just make sure that the snowflake group includes all six snowflakes. You can also use this process for tagging the AC elements in your display. It's easier to match AC elements by channel in the final step of this process, but if you don't want the effects to transfer by unit ID and channel number, you can direct the effects into other AC elements as well by using these tags. All of the AC elements are first in the dropdown list. You can check the String Summary tab of the Preview Editor at any time to see which props are missing tags so you can make edits. Be sure to double check any groups you've created on your own by double clicking and looking in the upper right corner. Any imported CPC packages from the Letterama Props online menu have their group tags set by default. Once you have completed this one-time setup process, it'll be easy to transfer your RGB Plus sequences. After installing and opening the Letterama RGB Plus sequence, navigate to the Sequence menu and choose Assign Different Preview. Any props or groups that you've tagged will be automatically matched from the RGB Plus sequence. To match the AC elements by unit ID and channel, you can click this Auto Match option near the top of the menu. Any props you're not using from the RGB Plus layout will stay unmatched over on the left. If all of your props are matched, you'll have green check marks on the right side. If there are any props you've purposely left unmatched so that you can add in your own custom sequencing, they'll be visible in this list. After you click Continue, the sequence will convert and all of the RGB Plus motion effect rows will be inserted into your tagged props for this sequence. This will not affect your preview defaults. At this point, you can copy and paste sequencing for additional AC elements in your personal display, modify any smart pixel motion effects, or add in your own effects for any unmatched props. After your sequence is transferred and organized the way you like, the last step is to press play and enjoy watching the RGB Plus sequence on your own layout. And that's all for this tutorial. Visit the Lighterama website to shop for sequences now.